Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Salty Seth and I am a disabled veteran, but instead of giving into the deep down dark down deep of despair, depression and PTSD, I decided to start a Twitch channel. So you all get to watch me suck or succeed. Either way, I hope you enjoy. Today we're going to go off the beaten path as it is or as it were. And I want to do something new that I've not done on the channel. Well, it's not terribly new. It's a new game, but that's really just how it goes, isn't it? Down with one and on to the next. I am sort of taking a break from Final Fantasy XIV. Not in any earnest or seriousness. There's still many classes I want to play and level up to level 90. But I do that in my own free time. Uh, and currently, you know, everyone is super busy with the holidays, uh, I thought it would be nice to just do something that I personally find very relaxing. It's good, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, to escape from the hustle and bustle of overly crowded cities and just escape back to nature for a little bit. And of course, as soon as I start, as soon as I start, um, streaming someone texts me but it's not important uh the let's try and hop over to the game it's not the most screen friendly try as i might it's not it's a little touch and go between uh tabbing in and out so let's 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 just try and see what happens Already, I've lost my mouse. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on. Oh, oh, there it is. Ah, here we are. Please enjoy the music. Now, wasn't that lovely? It's very embracing. I am... I am from the deep south, where there are trees and rivers and lakes and plenty of game. And anyone and everyone who even has the smallest of shacks to live in has a good spit of land that they can run around. And I don't mean a humble backyard, just barely big enough for a dog. I mean a proper spit of land where you can run around and be wearisome from mowing the lawn in the spring and summer days. I've got a few stories about that myself, but perhaps that's for another time. I just, I want to escape the hustle and bustle of city life for a short while. Oh, and it looks like my wife is joining me. Hello, St. Math 1-2. You are ever the light in this dark and dreary world, for me at least. So a new map recently came out that is uh, sort of set in the wilds of Mississippi, and I'm not terribly familiar with Mississippi. I've only been there once or twice, mostly in passing. If I do have, if I ever have been there, not on business, it was probably during my childhood, which uh, all my memories are lost, but I digress. So let us start us. A new reserve, away from the familiar bleh, the familiarity of Hirschfelden to the Mississippi Acres Preserve, established in 2021. Oh, how about that? The home of the Delta Blues, Mississippi Acres Preserve hosts unparalleled game opportunities for hunters who aren't afraid to get their feet wet, while recent Heavy flooding has forced residents from their homes. The region's animal inhabitants are as bold as ever, and the loomy cotton fields and grasslands attract hungry feral pigs, quails, and raccoons. The pine forests and hills are full of deer and gray foxes, while the indomitable American alligator makes its lair deep 
in the oxbow lakes found all over the preserve. All right. So this is a game. First of all, let's pump our brakes a little bit. This is not an in-your-face, run-and-gun type game. This is a... What I feel, they tried to balance it between a hunting simulator and an actual video game to pique your interest. Because, again, I've done hunting and I've done fishing, not for sports. Although, the area I grew up around had uh, a series of lakes where there was sport fishing. But it was always like, oh, you caught, you catch your fish, you weigh it, you take a picture, smile, and then you release. If there's any proper hunting done, it was always for like, okay, we need venison to get through the winter because we're short on funds, blah, 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 blah. But I digress. So this isn't uh, this isn't an in-your-face action adventure game. This is a very slow, methodical walk through the forest and appreciate nature type game. And if you don't want to watch this video, that's fine. It's going to be here immortalized on well Twitch, but eventually YouTube, as long as the internet is around. So if you want to escape and listen to the bassy, dulcet tones of my voice, you're always welcome back here. Let's begin. And there's the state line. Welcome to the Deep South, rookie. We've got wetlands, the blues, and the American story, not to mention some of the best hunting you'll find anywhere on this earth. But the floods this year have been worse than ever, and our community is at its breaking point. Camp Haven, the summer camp we worked so hard to open last year, is under threat. If there's one thing I've learned living here, it's that Mississippi Acres folk are resilient. We don't need a savior, just a little extra help. And that's where you come in. Hoorah. Looks like the end of the road. I'm so sorry, but I've actually got to run. I've got a pile of papers I need to grade. I'll call you as soon as I've got a signal. Promise. Ain't that the truth? As soon as I've got a signal, I'm into that. I've been through like three cell phone carriers and still my signal down where me and my wife are from is dodgy. Okay, so we're just... You couldn't drop me off at a camp or nothing? Just here in the middle of the road. All right. There, finally. I had to add actual cell service to the list of things I miss about Chicago. Hmm. Sorry that I'm so short on Southern hospitality right now, but we've got a bit of a situation. I believe it. Steve Ernie from our flood relief committee was out delivering supplies to elders who couldn't evacuate on time. The levee overtopped and his trunk got totally submerged. Oof. Everything scattered. He got away safe, but we don't have the funds to let anything go to waste. Can you go take a look? The water should have mostly receded by now. I'll mark the location on your hunter mate. Thank you. I gotta say, this is one of their, uh... I mean, it's still a daunting walk from, let's say, here all the way up to the top right, but it seems to be one of their smaller maps. Okay, so down here... We've... Well, that's just how far away it is from me. So it's about... It's not exactly 10 square full kilometers because you know all this is water and i can't swim on this game all right she wants us to head over this way to get our bearings plus finding this lookout point would be a boon what was that noise i've got my faithful bloodhound here his name is simply sniffer he's a good dog have some pets yeah he's a good pupper I didn't set myself up for success in coming here, because as you can see from... I've just started the campaign for this uh, map. Oh, it's a raccoon. Excuse me, gray fox. It's a raccoon. What does the fox say? It goes, bark! And my phone has glitched out. For as long as this game has been out, you'd think it would have a bit more polish. Even the waypoints aren't always terribly accurate. Okay, so all I've got is my 700, my 454, 
And that should be plenty of. I mean, a, my 700. Wait, is it a 700? What am I packing? It's a Miller Model 1891 Sheriff, was it, which isn't an actual gun. Excuse me. No. It uses 10 gauge brass slugs. Which, as you can see down here from the icons in the bottom left hand corner, it'll take on anything of any serious size or threat. Whereas my handgun, which is a 454, well, can take on some of the lesser things. Not fit for boxes, that's for sure. I'd be nothing left of the poor creature. All right, so this really sucks that my bone is glitched out. So I can't see my whereabouts. I just know I need to turn directly. I'm just not terribly crazy about uh, heading off directly into the woods. Which, you know, we're not here chasing any game immediately, as it were. But if I'm to go that way... Hopefully I'll reach my destination, because it looks like the road is underwater. Come here, dog. So I've put quite a few hours into this game, but I do not consider myself anything of any sort of expert hunter or tracker. Okay, so we've got a small creature here with some bits of brown fur. It looks like it's been here a while. Uh, but as I, even if even as I've played this game a lot and I've got you know very far into the levels, I am a novice hunter at best in real life and this game. Mostly play this game. I, this is one of the few games that I actually like to put my headphones on for, and I'll turn the uh, sound uh, dampening the uh, what is it called? Sound dampening the noise cancellation off. That way I can be fully immersed in the sounds of birds, and the insects, and the rain, and the crunching of the sticks beneath my feet. Speaking of which, that's a very big element for hunting in this game. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a little heart shaped icon. That's my stamina. And then next to that, you'll see a straight line with a half sphere underneath it. Now if I crouch down, that goes into a straight line. If I go prone, well, it doesn't get much better, I suppose. But we're in very dense foliage, as it, as it is. But the smaller that center icon, the harder you are to see. And, of course, that icon on the right is how much noise I'm making. And with all these sticks and this massive ghillie suit I'm wearing, I am, uh, very noisy. If she wants me to go over there, first I want to climb up in this tower and have a look around. Because I don't... She didn't give me a map of all the outposts. And that's a big... That's a really big mistake. If you're going to go to a nature preserve of any type, whether it's just for hiking or hunting, you best have a map or two. Ooh, I hear an alligator. Alligators aren't, as far as I know, actually that loud. Their hissing is actually rather quiet, and you're much like a rattlesnake. By the time you hear their rattler, you want to stop moving and look around and figure out where everything is. I gotta say, though, this is one of the nicer lookouts I've seen. Hmm. Some people's kids. What kind of drink do we have here? Spirit? Ah oh, yes, the favorites, my favorite soda to drink whenever I have an upset stomach, Spirit. Actually, it's the only soda I drink. Ooh. Okay, so this tells us what's all going on in this region. Looks like there's one, two, three. I'm guessing those are going to be sort of hunting stands. And then there's two outposts. My greatest concern actually is how I'm going to get on this side of the river. Or the... I guess you could call it a river stream. My love, you're an engineer. What do you call this little... When the water breaks in off the main river and it eventually creates this little snake thing right here. It's actually very bad for bridges and roads. 
My wife's an engineer. She knows all about these sort of things. Give a minute, she'll respond. Okay. So they want me to go here, and afterwards, God knows. But I need to get my keister to an outpost. So I can properly arm myself. Common raccoon. Oh, you don't remember what it's called? That's all right. Somebody's calling me. I'm busy. Leave a message, please. Also, uh, again, I don't know the first thing about alligators. I do know I do know that bucks and does concerning deer have different calls. But I am very curious how you would be able to discern one alligator from the next, as far as gender. <sighs> Oof. Actually, my biggest beef with going outside and hunting actually uh, is things like uh, ticks and little tiny creatures we call chiggers. C-H-I-G-E-R-S. They're like fleas, but smaller, and they're red and fuzzy, and they are terribly hard to see. And they leave the most annoying bites. There. You starting to get goosebumps, or is it just me? The Delta's a weird place. He said he got stuck somewhere over there by those cypress knees. Bingo. Those are the supplies. I'm just... On... I'm just on a lookout for uh, anything that will try and eat me. Because whenever... Okay, so whenever I have to record, I have to record in 26 by 1440. And for some reason, all my video games are a bit darker and not as... What do I say? Bloomy? Not as bright, even though I've got... You can't really mess with it here. Yeah, see, so you can just change the... But it's, it's brighter and more, more colorful in 3 or 4K. Alrighty. You got everything? Thanks. This is doing us a huge favor. Hmm. Hey, um, are the shadows playing tricks, or is that a briefcase I'm seeing on my feed? Let me, let me make a quick call. On your feed? You have a feed? Hey, Mrs. Tackett. My new counselor's out where Steve dropped the flood supplies, and there's a briefcase hanging from a tree branch. You know if that's... Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. There's yes, a... ma'am. There's a weird a sec. thing in the subtitles. She wants to talk to you. Uh-oh. Oh, there is a briefcase. Well, Davis has got you out on a fine excursion this time of night. Betty Tackett here, chairwoman of the Mississippi Delta Big Game Club. Yeah, I see it. I hate to ask, Sugar, but can you grab the briefcase? Steve's a little ornery and he'll pitch a fit if he don't get his papers back. Sure. Yeah. Well, nothing to it. What exactly do you want me to do here? I don't have a punching motion and I, I don't have those kind of hops. I hope he doesn't mind having a hole or two in his papers. Hear that, Mrs. Tackett? You are phenomenal. What happened to that rookie kid I got my hunting license with who couldn't hit a broadside shot on a stationary target? I've been practicing. <laughs> Loud and clear. I'm going to extend you an invite if you can get I, that up. Can I? I'm down for the counts since I broke my neck, but Steve will get you an application. Hell, oh. he owes you. The water's freaking out. Let's... Let's take that later, why don't we? We gotta let you go, Mrs. Taggett. All the best now. Don't be a stranger, y'all. <laughs> Betty's lovely, but she's as southern as all get out, as they say in these parts, with everything that entails. Listen, I don't want to be out here. Can we move Any this along? On that briefcase? Not that I don't believe it's Steve's, it's just... I don't see anything suspicious. Let's get those supplies to the people who need them. Oh, look. Alligator tracks. Lovely. You track right. gators, rookie? 
You want some advice? No. Maybe. There's an outpost not far from here. Can you swing by and drop the briefcase and supplies off there? Maybe get your breath back, too. Hey, I don't want no silent treatment. You've read Camp Haven's handbook, right? Uh, maybe. Rule number one. Our differences are our strengths. There's no shame in trying something new. I'm out here, aren't I? I'll give you a few pointers. You show me what you can do. It's win-win. Hmm. -win. First, find where they gather. Following the waterway is a good bet. Good bet to get Just your ankles sure bit. packing appropriately. Their skulls are thicker than a Mississippi senator's. <laughs> bet. Check the Codex field guide if you need help. Always and ever. Ooh. New flowers. Oh, do y'all hear the bullfrogs? Oh man, we used to go camping. Oh, here we go. All right, I hear you, lady, but first things first, I got to get here. I do n not want to spend my first night hunting. Well, my first time. I just don't want to be, I just don't want to do it at night. It's dark. It's hard to see. Oh, is there a road here? Oh, there's turkeys here. I didn't know there were turkeys here. Yeah, there's no road here on the map. What's that about, developers? Get it together, I say. Actually, when you don't want to be snuck up on, making a fair bit of racket is, in fact, the thing to do. Got some cotton tail dropping. I don't know if I've ever had frogs le frog legs, now that I think about it. What do we got here? Targies. Running through the country, probably won't eat no peaches. Let's put that away. Alrighty. Raise the flag. Dims the rules, I don't make them. No flag, no country, them's the rules. There's a little timely joke for you. Dated, perhaps. $100 fine for littering, no alcoholic beverages, all pets must be on a leash. And do not feed the wildlife. <laughs> yeah. I'll try not to feed myself to the wildlife. You got it, buddy. Ooh, darts. It'd be nice if there was a dart minigame. Oh yeah, you see that blue one right there? That's about how good my aim is at this game. Also, there should be three of each color. Oh, here's the other two. Ah, yes. No alcoholic beverages, indeed. Is it starting to get a little choppy on your end? Oh my goodness, it got super choppy. What happened? Did I mess with something? I don't remember it being that blocky earlier. Is it just the dock? Wait, is it only when it does... Nope, it doesn't want to look around here too. That's weird. Oh, oh, it'll be smooth for a second and then it'll... Huh. One second. I'm going to see if I can't dilly-dally with something. I know I was messing with stuff earlier. Let's see. Uh... I'm still using the same thing I used last time, CBR. Now why is... Now why did that change? Wait, you're not seeing what? Does it look smooth on your end? Might just be quicker to text me.
Okay, so it is smooth on your end. Okay, that's fine. It might just be the recording uh, software itself. As long as it's getting to Twitch nice and smooth and it's not all blocky and choppy and stuttery. Oh, is that the wife texting me? Smooth on your end. Okay, good enough. The wife has very high standards, so I'm told. I don't know, she married me. Okay. Oh, good, they added animations to the doors. Still don't have animations in the first few maps. It's just like, it's like Minecraft doors, open or close. Oh, it's very nice in here. Where's my... We got books, we got... Oh, we got everything in here. Old photos. Nice place. As far as a hunting outpost goes, fire blankets. Huh. All right. As opposed to fire extinguishers. Anyways. All right. Sorry. Like I said, first time playing on it. I want to see all the cool little new things. And that, of course, is an above ground uh, gas tank. Methane? Propane? I can't remember what they use. You used to see them all the time all over itself. Alright. Access cache. Well, hold on. What I really need to do... Go to our codex. Wildlife. American alligator. Uses... Oh! Only class 6. Alright. Large specimens are solitary while smaller ones can coexist. They're mostly active... Uh, between dusk and dawn. So at night. Great. <laughs> Species. Alligator Mississippianus. It's a hard thing to say. Okay. Their senses. Excellent sense of smell and vibration. <sighs> so that means their vision is not terribly acute. Well, it should be helpful. Oh, oh. There's all kinds of stuff down here that you can read up on Google. But for me, the most important thing to know is... Are they solitary? The big ones? Yes. When are they active? At night. Great. And they use class 6 ammo. They have excellent senses of smell and vibration. So you need to be low and slow when you're approaching them. That's what I heard. Or slow at the very least. Okay. So, let's see. Inventory. Weapons. We should be good with just the shotgun. Uh, what's my weight limit look like right now? Storage. Okay, so I could carry a few more things. Probably one more gun. I need something to bridge the gap because currently this... 10 gauge brass slugs only have an effective range of 50 meters and they're only good for massive game. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so these will work pretty well on an alligator in a pinch. And of course, I can always whip out my trusty pistol if I need to, but I need something for smaller game. Uh, let me see. The 270 is always a good is is always your is always a good bet. The problem with 270 is I can't hunt. I can't hunt. I can't hunt foxes with that. Might go with the 243. Smaller and good. Should I come across a fox? Uh, actually, you know what? No. Do you think they fixed the Grouk drilling rifle yet? For the longest time, this ri this rifle right here has been bugged. I wish they would fix it. Let's see, that uses this. And I think 16 gauge. So let's try this right quick. I just want to see if they fixed it. It's bugging me. Alright. Because it's great if I need to use a bullet for bigger game. Ah, oh, speak of the devil. But say I wanted to hunt some turkey, I could quickly switch to birdshot. You, you okay? You okay there, dog? 
Okay, for the moment, it seems to be working. I can switch between shotgun and uh, rifle. That's good. That actually makes me very happy because this is one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite guns to, sh to shoot with. Just the versatility of it, really. All right. So now that we know that, we can grab our birdshot, our slugs. I believe we already picked up our. Yeah, we got our buckshot. I wonder if we can use the. Uh... No, probably best not. Okay, birdshot, if we come across any turkeys. Although it says right here that the effective range is only 25 meters. Which, if you think about it, is still actually quite a bit of a distance. Never actually hunted turkeys. Or tried to, at any rate. Okay, so I've got this for the big boys. Actually, this goes all the way down. Huh. Okay, I might not even need the, the, uh, the 10 gauge, then. This has an effect. Well, if I have to use, if I have to shoot an alligator, I can use this nine by. I can use this nine point three by seventy four R. That's got a better range. <clears throat> All right. So let's put the sheriff away, just for carrying capacity sake. All right. We have the pepper bullets. We have plenty of them. Uh, what else? We want a. Uh, not using a rifle. I want my drilling scope. Where's my drilling scope? There it is. Falcon 3x9. Okay, I don't think there's going to be any moose out here. It's probably wild boar, though. Did they say something about wild boar? I'm pretty sure they did. I know for a fact there's wild boar down here. Okay, let's see. I might get... Let's see, which one do I want? This one has better attraction strength. All right, so I'll take this one. Uh, this one works. On, uh, this one works on wolves, lions, pumas, bears. None of which are found here. This one works on well, supposedly foxes. All right. Is there anything new in the store? As far as uh, collars. Oh! Got something for calling raccoons. Can I swing that? Yeah, it's 57, Hundo. I can grab that. What else? Just the raccoon collar? Oh, I gotta hear this. Any new scents? Mule deer. No, I've seen mule deer scent. I just haven't hunted any yet. Any new decoys? Some new ducks I've never seen. Oh! And a turkey thing. I don't know if that's new or if I just never used it, but I digress. Consumables. I got doggy biscuits, first aid kits, and scent on memories. Not worried about that. Alrighty. Uh, that uh, should do it, actually. Um, what was that? Oh, yes. Oh, Codex. That's the one. Wildlife. Raccoons. What would a raccoon? Is that under R? Just simply raccoons, you think? Mm, I don't think so. What would C be under? Or uh, C. Raccoons be under common raccoon? There it is. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's class one. Oh, but it uses class two ammo. Hmm. Species. Procyon Lotor. Okay. They are also night hunters. Forms small, loose, same-sex social groups. Okay, so all females are all males. Got it. Excellent smell and hearing. Average vision. So they're basically foxes. I've hunted foxes in this game, and they are just an absolute pain in the in the backside. Okay. So we've got our shotgun. Oh, let's put our sight on that. All right, ammo, polymer tip for the hard heads of alligators. Let's go with, uh, so we'll go with birdshot. 
And then our secondaries are Rhino, just for a pinch. Sites, lures. Let's see. Wild turkey. Wild boar. Let's move this. Actually, I might get rid of that altogether. And the... Oh, did I not grab it? Not from storage. I just purchased it. Hang on. Raccoon squall collar. Lures. Alrighty. So, turkey, boar, raccoon. What did I miss? This in the event that we want to hunt foxes, but God, I hope not. God, I hate hunting foxes. They're so fast and small. Okay. Alright, Sardis, but I want to make sure you know how to hunt a gator, just in case. First step, find where they gather. Well... I just heard one, so against my better judgment, we're gonna go see if we can't find the some bitch. Do I have my nighttime goggles? I do. Let's see if we can see anything from here. Uh, the rain makes it difficult because the raindrops reflect the tiniest fractals of light. Come on, dog. I just heard an alligator hiss from this direction. That is a warning call. So, like I said, this is a very slow, methodical game. All right, we're already pretty close to the water, champ. Oh, you know what? I forgot we're down. We are upwind of that guy. Put on some anti-stink. Probably should have bought some more. Oh, well, we're right up on the water, and I don't see anything. Okay, so I see some highlights there, which means that might have been where he was beaching. Gotta be nice and slow here. Actually, if anything, now that I think about it, I probably want to be loud. But I would just be happy, I should think, to see it first before it sees me. Oh. Stop raining. Also, it's shown spot animal for a moment. Just for a moment. Sometimes that's the trick, even if you can't see it with your eyes. Game picks it up. With the right timing, it'll highlight it for you. That's a great fox. Oh, God. Oh, that is so close. Oh, I hate it. Also, hey, doves, the water's freaking out. Dog, you're gonna get eaten. Oh, I don't see nothing. And the rain's back up. That was... short-lived solace. So my dog is... Alright, I see some tracks. My dog is very keen on alerting me. To when we have been spotted. We'll start whimpering and then in the bottom right it'll say uh, critical engagement or critical mode or some something to that effect. Alright, so it says he's over in this general direction. 
But if he's as far as out to the water as I think he is, we should be okay. All the same, I'm going to pull my gun out. I'm going to risk... Okay. I hear you. Where is my dog? I wish developers and take this to heart. Actual training dogs. Actual hunting. Training. Actual hunting dogs. And guard dogs. Are trained to be either far from their master or very close. They can do no such thing. I do not see this guy. I only see very faint traces of him going off into the water. Oh, do I need to hit this? Uh, yes. Lizard brain. Find an alligator need zone. You keep making warning calls, but I cannot see you. And I sure as shit ain't going out in that water. We're looking for a... Oh, a need zone. So this is a resting zone that we found. Not, not the same, apparently. Well, the resting zone is... Wait. Yeah, it's over there. Okay. So I'm not here to hunt. Or kill anything right this second. He just wants me to find a need zone. So I'm going to come out from my crouch and, hey, come here dog, make a fair bit of noise. They know that we're coming. Alligators, as I understand it, prefer to be, uh, surprise predators? Humans aren't exactly on the menu. That doesn't mean we're off the menu either. Turkey, turkey! And of course the fog doesn't help. Uh, it looks like we're losing frames. Oh gosh. I have found the need zone. I have found the need zone. What do you what do you want me to do, lady? This is just Excuse me, black bears. Are you telling me there's black bears in Mississippi? I didn't know this. Listen, I found I found a need zone, lady. I don't know what you want from me. So what's this other quest about? And why is it so far away? Where do you Oh, oh jeez. I don't know where you want me to take this briefcase. Okay, to the other outpost. All right, so let's just fast travel back here. If the game will permit it. I'm going to fast forward to daytime. Because it's dark. <laughs> let's get rid of this. Uh... Come on. Oh, there we go. Not a perfect game by any means. Alright. Where the bed's at? Oh, right in here. What? Is it toiletries? No, okay. I wish to board the train to Sleepy Time Junction. It is 1042. 
Oh, let's make it 542. Little, oh, little bit of sunlight goes a long way. All right. Now I can see more than, you know, 20 feet in front of my face. Let's get us some a transportation, shall we? That's right. We got quads here, four by fours, four wheelers. Wouldn't be the south if we didn't. All right, dog. Try and keep up if you can. I still am having a hard time believing that there's bears out here. Oh, I see a turkey flying off. Do you see him? Right there on the left. Yeah, he's right there. I mean, I can't. Yeah, there she. Oh, excuse me. There she goes. Hello, Air Penguin version 2.0. Oh, well, you know, we just started the new Mississippi map. And I'm apparently having some connection issues. Not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Oop, excuse me, dog. And it looks like we're having frame dropping. I don't know, does it still look smooth on your end? It seems like it drops sometimes. Could just be a connection issue. Not entirely sure where I'm going because this road is not on the map. All right, cool. That's all I need to hear. All right, so there is the lookout point. Oop. We yesterday this looks like it would be a great spot for bob white quail i've only had quail once and i gotta confess i wasn't all that impressed it was just like a tiny chicken that was like three times the price Oops, I keep forgetting. I can't press spacebar in this game. No, come back. Okay, well, I can't look at my map on that. No, how. All right, so... We hang it right here, and then take a second left. It should take us where we need to go. Oh, there goes some turkeys. Gobble, gobble. Or oh, those might actually be quails. How come I don't get a quail collar? Alright, so there's the first left. Is this the second left? Is this the edge of the reserve? Where's my map? Oh, that's the edge of the reserve. Okay, so we're gonna hang left here. I don't know, dude. Like I said, I've only had quail once, and I wasn't that impressed. I'm like, this tastes just like chicken, but it's... A lot smaller. <laughs> it's like I could probably eat three whole quails just by myself. I gotta tell you, chicken and turkey is the way to go. Speak of the devil, there goes some right now. This might be ducks. Anyways, onwards. What y'all growing out here? Cotton? Tobacco? Oh! 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 Bugger me, I hit a mailbox. Where'd he go? I saw a raccoon! Ah, oh, look, there he goes! Oh, there he goes. Run along, you little scamps. You're getting into the garbage cans, no doubt. Skirt! Rip to the quails, yeah, I suppose. Alrighty. Raise the flag. All 
All right, they call this all the way over here to drop off a briefcase or something. I don't know. You could just leave the stuff on the table there. I'll let Steve know. Thanks. You got it. Oh, Betty again? Can you pull her up on speakerphone? Hey, sugar, can I trouble you for a favor? The boys are having a meeting tonight to discuss our flood relief efforts. And it gets real chilly in the evenings this time of year. Well, usually they get a fire going. But right now, there ain't a single log of dry firewood anywhere in the state. And you know we've got elderly members. Nope. I believe you'll find a space heater in that outpost where you left the supplies. Could you be a deer and drop it off at our lodge? Sure. Not where the raccoons go, I wonder. Where do you want me to go, lady? Pick up the heater. Alright, I'm here. Oh, okay. That's a little radiator. I'd hate to think of someone catching hypothermia. This far south? Hmm. By the way, the big game club has been working together with the African American hunting club I'm a member of on flood relief efforts. We've uh got some history. Not gonna lie, they weren't super enthusiastic about some transplant from Chicago buying up land and opening a summer camp here. Yeah, I believe that. Even Betty. And even though I've been coming here since I was little, I get these kids. Uh-huh. But we've both got our priorities straight. The future of the community is what matters. Oh, that's good, I suppose. Speaking of, we haven't had enough hands on deck to tend to everyone's needs up until now. So there are a couple of errands around the reserve that still need doing. I'll let you know if you're near somewhere you can help out. Great. Over to the yep. big game club okay, lodge. I was about to say. Make sure they get the heater before their meeting later on. As long as I get paid, lady, I don't really care. Where am I going? North. Okie dokie. Oh, so I have to cross this. I have to cross the bridge here to get to this little uh, area here. That's weird. Alrighty. Oh, there's no point in placing the waypoint. On the road again <laughs> to see what we can see. Skirt. You believe we used to play this game without four wheelers? We had to run everywhere. What a pain. What a pain. <laughs> Granted, there's no sneaking up on nothing. Although, I have sometimes, like earlier, just rolled up on a quad and there was like a creature there. I got off my quad and was like, are you what I need to hunt? Yes. Rest in pasta. I'm just looking at that water like, I wonder if it's ever shallow anywhere. Oh, wait, I see a tiny bridge. Hold up. Hold the phone. Did it again. Hey, look, some raccoons. How you guys doing? Having a little trouble with the bridge, huh? Y'all are the most docile raccoons I've ever encountered. Listen, I need to get across that bridge. So, uh... I don't understand why they did it like... This. All right, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Can I not? All right, I'm gonna do something stupid. Oh, okay. So far, so good. Oh man, you should never try this unless you're absolutely certain you can cross. But we seem to be doing all right. You could get stuck, or worse. It's worse than getting stuck. Well, I don't know. Getting stuck and then having to swim in slug and alligator infested waters. It's not a good time. Oh, please let me make that. Oh, that was close. 
All right, and we're on the road again. Well, back up to speed. Nothing else, I should say. Oh, boy. Oh, I just gotta watch out for these little tiny trees. Little tiny trees. Bonk out. Like that. Is there a point of interest over here? Oh, it's a little, uh... Little blind. You can build... Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. No, come back. <laughs> I have to stop hitting the space bar. I don't know. All the other games, space bar's like, okay, stop. Sealed position available. Oh, it's actually very nice. Got some corn growing here, it seems. Other than that, not much to see. It is hella foggy. How do I get out of this thing? Everything, every... Wall looks the same. Oh, hello, Rosano. Good to see you, mate. How is the quality of the stream coming in for you? I like feedback. Well, I can't open my map. All right, so we have to get from here across this water point to Jonesville. Hopefully, there's another low, shallow area. Low, shallow? Bit skippy, choppy. See, that's what I thought. I, there's nothing I can do about it right now, I don't think. I've already turned everything down. Uh, yeah, see, it's at my usual streaming. It could just be our internet connection this afternoon. Ooh. Yeah, it says my streaming quality is good. Okay. Yeah, the Hunter Call of the Wild is just, it's apparently not the best for, um, streaming. It's probably a better recording session. But the problem is, it's such a slow game. Uh, yeah, go ahead and send me the link. I'm, uh... I, I wouldn't say that I stream often. Not as often as I should. I used to stream every day, like bar none. But I've gotten lazy recently. I'm making my way downtown. Alright, back off into the woods again we go. Alright, I just got the boink noise from Discord. So, thanks for that. Appreciate it. I have received it. I didn't realize they grew so much corn in Mississippi. That was more of a Midwest thing. Alrighty. That water looks very deep. I don't think this is the way to go. Oh yeah, we might just have to run along the edge here until we find a shallow spot to, uh, board. Kinda sucks too, because it's very slow going, you know. Oh jeez. I wish they hadn't done it like this with these inconveniencing little rivers. Ah, but what are you gonna do? I gotta say today, Kirschfelden, still my first, is uh, one of my favorite maps just because of the open straw and hay fields. They are, they're just great. You know, you put up your little deer stand, you make a few calls, Wait for the wind to be in your favor, then you put out some scent. I don't think we're gonna get across this way. I'm just looking over here. 
might have to just go all the way around because it looks like there's a spot to cross here. But all this looks very wide. I may just have to get back on the road. Unfortunate! Yeah, it's not choppy anymore. Like I said, it just seems to be a, a bandwidth thing. Even though I upgraded it when we moved into our new house. Maybe once we reach a uh, thousand subscribers on YouTube, wink wink, nudge nudge, I could probably afford a better uh, streaming quality. Oh yeah, no, that water over there looks proper deep. Oh. He's leveled up just from having to run. Poor dog. Ugh, nose itches. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's not a snowball's chance in hell we'd be able to cross that. Oh, that sucks. And we're back to being choppy again. That's fine. Nothing to see here. H1Z1. Uh, so... The developers of this game actually made another game using the same engine. The uh, same Avalanche Studios engine. It, and it was called... Uh... Crap, now I can't think of the name. But it's set in, like, Sweden or some European country. And apparently robots or something have taken over, and so you have to... It's sort of like uh, Left 4 Dead, but with robots. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. It do be like that. Not a terribly fast four-wheeler, clocking, topping out at uh, 48 kilometers an hour, but... It's got the it's got the torque and apparently it doesn't get stuck in water, so that's what counts. You wanted speed, you should have gotten a motorcycle. Trees and fog and trees and fog. I bet you we could cross here. Horseshoe Bend. Let's go down to the water's edge and see what it is. Mm, it's kind of swampy. I bet we could find a way across, though. Ooh, maybe not. Don't push the maybe, baby. Ooh. Actually, no, let's go a bit farther north. Because according to the map... Oh, please don't be deep. Please don't be deep. Okay. According to the map, it gets a little shallower. More shallow? Shallower word? Yeah, see up ahead? I see a tiny bridge. Ooh, ooh, what do you think? Oh, hang in there. Oh, we did it. Woof! Got a little smoky there at the end. This quad needs a snorkeler is what it needs. Oh, that's quaint. They put little oil lamps on the bridge there. Alrighty. We're only a kilometer away from our destination. Let's get this point of interest, whatever it may be, and then hit the road. Oh! Well, oh, bugger me. We stumbled upon an outpost. Okay, don't hit spacebar. Got it. How do I get off? Spacebar. And there's our dog. Outpost unlocked. Fast travel and facilities now available. Excellent. Dog. Where'd you go? Here, dog. Come here. Excuse me. Oh, hey. Hey. Sit still for a second. How are you doing, buddy? You need a biscuit? Would you like a biscuit, pupper? There you go. 
Very good. Alright, let's move along. Oh, look at him go! He might look old, but he's got a workhouse. On the road again. Oh, the fog seems to finally be lifting. That's nice. It could just be... Oh, I think I saw a bear. Or a pig. It could just be that it's the holidays and schools are out, so the bandwidth of the big city is a bit more under strain. Oh, 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 there's a pig! Oh, pig! Here, pig, 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 pig! God, I miss eating bacon. On account of my diet for the kidney stones, I rarely get to eat red meat. And yes, pig is red meat. They used to call it the other other white meat because the marketing campaign campaign was being snarky. I'd be surprised that there are people out there that still think there the, uh, that pig is white meat. If you've ever seen a the diet of a pig, what's that? So realistic? What is? Nice fence you got there. Well, here's the lodge. I'm not gonna lie, I don't make a habit of spending time here. Why not? I guess check the door. Better be open. I just came all this way with this radiator strapped to my back. Huh. I thought it was just good old fashioned southern hospitality to leave your place unlocked in these parts. But who knows what kinds of valuables they've got in there. They've already got radiators. Some of the keys are faded. Not the most robust security system. Huh. Zero, one, four, five, and six. Five factorial combinations. That's uh, 120, and that's without repeating digits. Okay. And my students say math is pointless. Yeah, it is. Know the code, right? Let's call her. Yeah, it is pointless, because 120 digits would still take you a hot minute to go hey, through Mrs. all of them. Tackett, sorry to bother you again. My counselor's out dropping off the heater, but the door is locked. Would you happen to have the key code to hand? Unfortunately, I do not, Miss Davis. I've been out of commission so long with my neck, you understand. I've got a shotgun. Do you know who does have the code then? Mr. Ernie, maybe. I think it's best you just leave the heater outside on the porch there. The boys will be along for the meeting <laughs> shortly. <laughs> the boys. Okay, if that works for you. All the best, Mrs. Tackett. Bye bye now. Let's hmm. do as she says, I guess. I just wonder why they're so reluctant to give us the code. Because we're black. Actually, I'm sorry I said that. Uh, my character is actually I don't know what color my character is. Take a peek inside the window there. Yeah, they've already got radiators. The same damn heater. Uh, what? Let me try Betty again. No answer. Well, maybe Southerners are just super sensitive to the cold. My mama just huddled up with the blanket, but I guess she was made of sterner stuff than some of these rich folks. Ha! Ah, got him. I don't want to think the worst. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'll mention it to Betty later. Cool, great. Where do you want me to go? Okay. What do you really urgent things are out of the way but i've got to be honest with you rookie there's another reason you're here you gotta stop calling me that let me show you what i'm trying to protect head over to the camp haven bunks and i'll explain on the way okay and of course it just happens to be oh okay it's actually just right here i was like it all it's all the way back from from whence we feckin came we're fine Come on, dog. Oh, did you see that whip? 
Really, what's the point of having a... It's half arsed fence. Okay. Don't hit the space bar. Uh, let's see, if we go left here, we just go around and... Yeah, we'll do that. So, Rizano, you played, uh, I don't think I've seen you online on our server. With the uh, release of Alpha 20 uh, Stable. Just been busy, or? I see something over there. It's probably another outpost or a building of some sort. Thought I saw, uh, I thought I saw a bear, but it turns out it's just a little water line of some sort. Anyways. Oh, on the medium? Okay, I must have just missed you then. We had to change the way that, you know, it used to be that you could build inside the cities, but with the release of Alpha 20, uh, the, we used a third party program called CSMM, I forget what it stands for, in order to uh, make the point of interest reset. Uh, the person in charge of that couldn't be bothered currently, for whatever reason. Uh, so we just had to go back to having the entire town, you know, set to a reset zone. And of course a lot of people are upset, because now they have to pick up and move their houses. And we're already on day like 400 or something. Alright, so you know what it is. You know what it is then, my guy. Yeah, so people are a little upset about that. But me and the other admins have been doing what we can to help people move and make the transition smoother. It was either that or just a full-on uh, server wipe, which we did not want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not so bad now that the sun's out and the fog's gone. Seem to be a... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did you give them sugar? They're already kids. This map seems a little dodgy. Or maybe it's just the subtitles. Okay. Just let's be discreet. Betty didn't want the camp open up here at all, and I don't think it's her internal reason to doubt me. It's not nice. much, but it means everything to me to be able to do this for these kids. Did I miss the road? Yeah, yeah, totally. Where's the fucking road lady? I saw a sign, but I never see no road. Huh. Got like a little parking lot here. This is a nice little place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's kind of weird that there's no road to this place. I guess you just drop the kids off on the street and they have to walk through the bushes. This is your initiation. I hope you brought bug, bug spray so you don't get chiggers in your nether regions. You know what I was looking for a while ago? I was looking for a good uh, fishing game, you know, like a good fishing simulator, but they all had lots of like negative reviews like, oh, it's pay to win or that sort of thing. And that kind of turned me off. Had some lying around here somewhere. It was disappointing to say the least. Yeah, leeches. Leeches are bad too. 
Jiggers and tickets, and please. Phase Delta Summer. Right, can you take a look around? I know some of the kids who reported the weird noises stayed in these bunks. Are they city kids? They've probably just never heard, you know, raccoons or, uh... What's that other thing? Possums. An oculus? Whatever the hell for? This room, parents are visiting around the camp haven bunks. Huh. Uh, Oh, no, you can miss me. Uh, no, you can miss me with that. I got... I got something for his ass if Jason comes up. Actually, I got a few things, actually. Just kicks the door in. Oh, wait. Oh, it's yellow now. All right. Actually, switch the shotgun. There we go. Hmm. These are. Well, I wasn't wrong about them being on too much sugar. Where does this lead? The hell are these? Where are these supposed to be even be? Oh, are there? Well, shoot, for that alone, I might get an Oculus. But right now, what I really want is either a PlayStation 5 or a 380. I might just have to settle for a 360, though, to be honest with you. There are three... Grass. It's early summer, and the ground is soaked. You remember our fire safety classes, right? Literally the first damn thing you're told. No building fires near anything flammable, grass included. Think they were burning sugar? This was one of our counselors' idea of a prank. I'm gonna have to give them a talking to. Yeah, okay. I guess you want me to head back? What, uh... How much does an Oculus run for, do you think? Because it certainly looks like fun. I've seen plenty of YouTubers using them. since our last session the flooding sure hasn't helped okay it says here i can't sleep an old lady out by the campsite gave me some candy she told me there's witches here she said they oh their footsteps scorch the grass and they make horrible screams like they are on fire Brian told ghost stories. Ty started crying, said she heard noises. What about the others? They're all over the place. I am scared. Well, you know, things like raccoons and foxes. What's that? Make... That's a kid's handwriting. Hmm, yeah. Witches. Scorched grass. Ooh, ooh. Woman living in the woods. We really do have to limit their sugar intake. Uh, you think? But there are patches of scorched grass here. Probably just to lend credence to the nonsense. Are we on some Scooby-Doo Misty mystery? Is it going to turn out that the old lady was the bad villain all the time and she didn't want this camp opening for... I don't know, reasons? Uh, she's like, oh, there's oil in the swamps and I need to own the land just myself so I can sell it for all the oil. I don't know. Heisenberg blue... Oh, no. <laughs> it... What does that say? 128 gigabyte storage is 299. The 256 storage one... 400 US? That's not so bad. I mean, considering the ridiculous shortage, short shortage we've got going on. It, what does it say? What am I doing? Van Van I'm telling you, have come up on display online. Investigate the note. I did. I think. Is it my inventory? Uh, which one did I just come out of? Did I just come out of this red one? Uh, 
I've wanted to get into D&D, &D, but I just could never find a, you know, what is it, a group? Steady one at any rate. Um, yeah, dude, I don't see anything in these houses. It says investigate the note. Which I thought I did. We up we go. Nothing in here. Did I break the game? I mean, there's only one spot I haven't investigated yet. Over here. There's not much in the way of facilities out here at this camp. I've not seen a single sink. Or fridge or microwave or... I mean, but there are outhouses. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I just have to call it a day, especially with this choppy choppiness. Okay, bud. Listen here, I don't know what I don't I don't know what it is you think I do. Fetch the rope, investigate the note, head to Camp Haven Bunks. That's that's where I that's that's where I'm at, man. Is it me inventory? Rifle, pistol, goggles, or binoculars, collar, 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 deodorant, first aid kit. Nope. Not eating eating quarters? Well, there is a there's a little pad out here with some picnic tables that they could get it that they could get up under. I don't know what they want me to do. It's not in my inventory, huh? Uh, let's look it up. To Google we go. Let's see. The Hunter, Call of the Wild, something wicked this way comes. Uh, let's see. Oh. Seems I'm not the only one having trouble with this. There's nothing anyone is doing. Flip the note over. Uh, okay, what if I've already... What if I've already exited the note? What do I do then? It was in this cabin, right? Or was it the red one? <laughs> well, heck. What do I do if... What do I, Rosano, what do I do if the note's gone? Ah, oh, jeez, dude. Ah, oh, broke the game. No, seriously, what do I do if the note's gone? It's not in me it's not in my inventory. Uh open the note in your inventory. It's not in my inventory. Inventory, right? I'm in me inventory. I got weapons, ammo, sights, lures, equipment, binoculars, portable structures. I don't... Oh, okay, so codex. Mission item. Mish, mish, well... 
Mission item. Okay, here we go. Note from a young camper. Inspect item. Got it. All right. Rotate. Oh, this is a map of Mississippi Acres. Must uh, be the other spots where kids had heard noises. Um. I've heard plenty of ghost stories set around these parts, but this is... It's upside down. There we go. Hello, ma'am. What can we do for you? Excuse the interruption, Ms. Davis, but I've had some residents of Jonesville call me up reporting a gator sighting. Okay, it's Mississippi. Kids, and it ain't a good idea to go back if a big old mean one's made his nest there. I suspect he washed up with the high water. There's two X's here. You got your counselor on the line there. Could you go and take a look, sugar? I'll send you the details. Please, I've had enough yeah, sugar. We're on it. We'll let y'all know how it goes. <laughs> Hmm. If it's a nuisance gator, we can decide what to do with it there and then. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. So is that it? I see two X's on this map here, though. Most folks around here know how to handle an alligator, but we don't take chances where kids are concerned. Can you go take a look? Yeah, but Jonesville, or whatever the heck it's called, is like right here? These X's are far up north. Uh, bleh. Okay. Okay, see, we're here, and those X's were up here a ways. <laughs> Alright, onwards. So, get on our motorbike, take the road, and hang a left. You got it. Thanks for your help, Rosano. See, it's nice and smooth right now. Okay. But every now and then, the internet is just... See, there's no road. Game developers, did you forget to put a road in? On the road again. Skirt, 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 skirt. I had a cousin, his family used to live out in the sticks, and he had a four-wheeler. He actually had a very rare three-wheeler. Very dangerous. Two in the rear that were powered, and only one wheel on the front for steering. Not great for making fast turns, or sharp ones, I can tell you. But fun to ride on, all the same. Twenty five miles an hour? Yeah, that's about that's about fifty kilometers an hour, I should think. Ooh, look at this big open field. It looks like a perfect spot to be doing some bird hunting. I prefer the taste of turkey myself. Which isn't terribly much different from chicken, so... Six one way, half dozen the other. Turkey eating zone. Or feed zone. Good information to have, actually. Oh, man. Well, you know, Christmas was just passed, and... My father always... Wait, do I need to turn here? My father always put a spread out. But this last time... And I think my wife's actually gone. Uh, she was here earlier. Uh... What was I saying? Oh, yes, my father put a spread out, and he'd actually... 
slow cooked some prime rib. Boy, howdy, it melted like butter in your mouth. And I know I said earlier, I don't, I don't usually get to eat red meat. So when I do, it's quite the occasion for me, all things considered. Oh yeah, dude. Had me a few bites of it, and my wife was like, "All right, that's enough. That's all you get." His wife, uh, my stepmother, very, very lovely lady, is Asian. I don't know of what persuasion. But she makes some fantastic egg rolls. Is this a spot that I can claim? And I, oh, I can. I'm actually from uh, Southeast Texas. But I was, uh, I got out of there as quick as I could for reasons. And I joined the military and that afforded me the ability to travel, see new sights, hear new sounds, taste new foods. All right, so we, Wait, are we actually proactively looking for a gator then? Probably pull this off the side of the road. Oh, you got it, man. Just It's it really it really becomes a very hollow hollowed out thing to hear all the time when people are like, "Oh, thank you for your service." And it becomes very difficult not to clap back with, you know, Go out and vote. Try not to vote for an idiot. Although it seems like that's all we have for politicians these days. They're not idiots so much as they are just uncannily greedy. It's very unfortunate. Gators are lazy sons of guns at the best of times. I don't get why it... Shh. I'm hunting, lady, and my frames just dropped. We're going to move to Florida next year. My sincerest condolences, my guy. Hang on, I'm just waiting for the internet to... I swear I don't usually have this much trouble. With the uh, frame rate. Alright, let me... I'm going to do something. Let's see. I'm going to turn everything down from ultra to uh, just regular old high. See if that makes a difference. Hopefully it does. Condolences. No, 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 Florida. So, all right. So, listen, 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 listen. All right. Florida is a very strange state. Every time I hear something on the news, it's like Florida man did this, Florida man did that. Um... Let's switch to this. 50 meters? All right. Um, but yeah. Oh, of course. Someone was on its trail. Oh. I don't know nothing about politics as far as each other state is concerned. I only concern myself with the politics of my own state. Oh, and quite frankly, I'd rather not get into it. Oh, it looks like somebody's already chased this. They were serious about this. Yeah, dude. Alligators do not mess around. Actually, neither do wild pigs. Because wild pigs usually travel. To rip that snare. This thing must have been pissed. Or really big. That's cool, man. I appreciate you saying that. Uh, but today, you know, my my love for my wife and video games pretty much surpasses most things. I'm just like, listen, we all just need to relax and enjoy life the best we can. Oh, I think. I thought I, I thought I saw. No, there is a bear nearby. So that's unfortunate. Oh, there goes my quality. I've always wanted to try gator. Um, it's not bad. 
It is, it is in fact very gamey, even the farm-raised ones. And we're dealing with some total amateurs. Gator guys, this ain't. The heck is that? Is that duct tape? Actually, uh, keeping a gator's mouth shut is not a task. Keeping it open, on the other hand, is where the gator's bite strength lies, is when it's trying to shut. But when it's trying to open its mouth, it doesn't have nearly the same amount of strength. Right, so hopefully that bear's moving on, because I don't want to deal with him. Hmm. There are a lot of tracks out here. And the curious thing is... If I was following the same tracks, they should all be lighting up blue. I can only assume I'm following the same direction. I'm sorry. White-tailed deer in Mississippi. Next, you'll be telling me there's elephants. Actually, the only reason... What was I saying? The only reason that there's flamingos in Florida is because I th I think they were brought over from the other side of the pond back in the day. Listen, I know I'm not out here hunting turkey. I'm out here hunting a gator. But if I get a chance to shoot a turkey, I'm going to take it because they's good eating. So it's really hard to follow my query. No, I don't see the bear. Oh, nope, oh, there he is. Let's see, 227 kilos. Not bad. I don't hunt bears and I don't hunt bears unless I actually have to. That's not something I heard people I've heard that's not something I've heard people say they go for. Oh yeah, I love eating bear meat. Blech. Never had bear meat. Uh but yeah, alligator meat, as I understand it. Well the last time I ate it, it was hella greasy, so it might have just been the way it was cooked. Jeez Louise, I should have stayed on my motorbike. Uh, my four-wheeler. Running through the country, ain't seen a single peach yet. Running through the country. Still tracking? Nope. Oh, wait, did I go too far? Did I... Am I on drugs? Did I not claim a camp back in this direction? I could have sworn I did. You look like good eats. Your streamer thought it was a cannibal and he killed him. Turns out he's talking to the bear that attacked the streamer. Oh, that is unfortunate. Well, see, the reason... Actually, funny story. In Red Dead Redemption, the first one, there actually was... A there actually was a quest, a side quest, where you could come across a feller uh, that was a cannibal. And I think he was actually chasing down another feller. And you could either choose to help him or, you know, just let him eat the poor bastard. Well. Oh, little magnolia trees.
Oh, on PlayStation. Is it out on the PlayStation 4? I think that was back in the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 days. What you playing it on exactly? You just said PS Now. I don't know what that is. Is that like a... Okay. I think we're about where we left off, right? There was a... Uh... See, all these tracks is blue, <laughs> which means I'm... Oh, okay. Okay, so that's, an, that's a different gator altogether. So I'm tracking these boot prints then? Oh my god, what the fuck is this game? Gobble gobble. Well, that reminds me. I wanted to hear what the raccoon collar sounded like. Where is it? Okay. Like Xbox Game Pass? Oh, okay. Oh, there's that one streaming thing that was across all platforms. It was called Cadia or something. It's this little device, it needed an internet connection, and it came with a wireless code controller. And it just let you stream the games from their site. I think that's called zero provisioning. I discussed that in one of my college courses. Alright, so I'm still tracking this, but there's no boots. We've stopped seeing boots. Now it's just gator tracks. Right? Gator tracks. Ugh, getting tired of running. Mm hmm. Gator tracks. Gator tracks. Gator tracks. Gator tracks. Mm, more gator tracks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right here was the last time that I saw that I see human boot prints. And I don't see any more around. Maybe there's more clues back over here. Ah, uh, maybe. You would think there would be some sort of a sign of a struggle. Gators aren't want for prolonged engagement on land. Their biggest, their biggest strength is their bite and then dragging their prey into the water where they can do the death roll. Well, shoot. I don't see nothing else here. Do you want to... Yeah, see, look, it's right here. I'm not... It's not showing up on the map. There should be an outpost right here. Hang on, I'm gonna grab my quad. All this, all this walking is for suckers. Although I'm quite frankly at a loss of what I should do next. Swerving, Mervin.
Let's see. Mission log. Investigate the catch pole. I did that. It's called Gator Aid, huh? Let's see what we can find. The Hunter, all of the wild. Gator Aid. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Hang on, it's loading. No, I don't want to go to YouTube. That was a mistake. Go back. Um... Maybe if I change... Maybe if I manually type it in Gator space A... What? ID? It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking... Okay, so someone else had issue. Need to investigate a catch pole and some duct tape, then follow the tracks into the bayou. Oh. All right. So it could very well be... Yeah, yeah, I found the duct tape and the rod. All right, so we're following these tracks then. Very good. Oh, this will be fun. Alright, so this... This was the last connecting track that I found. Now, some people say... No, unfortunately not. Some people say that their games glitch out, and if that's the case, I'll just have to exit out and restart it. But if that's the case, I very well just might uh, stop the stream and pick it up some other time. See, these are connected, so I'll just keep following them. At least I don't think I can run the gator over. I've tried, I'll admit it, I've tried running over creatures in the past just to test it, and it usually reacted like I was running into a tree or just a straight up wall. And I was like, I'm pretty sure these tiny little piglets are squishy. All right. Do they say that? I don't... <laughs> it's not just me being an uppity Yankee. You heard, Betty. Folks here are quite something. Uh, that's a word for it. <clears throat> Let's get some gator hunting practice in. Then we'll take stock of things. 
All right, so that sounds like a good stopping point for today. I'm going to do me some gator hunting off screen and get me some uh, practice in. And then, uh, you know, maybe we'll take it up tomorrow. I'll probably do the streaming earlier on in the day and I'll have better internet connection and I'll have less dropping. So, everyone who's watching the stream live, thanks for stopping in. Everyone watching in the future at YouTube, please, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe so we can get this channel a growing. And because I like money, the better... It, the more money I make off this, the better quality videos I can give y'all. God knows I would love to make some better quality videos. All right, so my name is Salty Seth, and I'm going to sign off here. So until next time, stay sassy, stay classy, stay safe, and most importantly, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you all here next time on Tokenoids.